Hey guys, so welcome to part two on how to make a wedding dress or how to make a custom wedding dress for a client rather. Um, if you guys missed the first video on how I draped the pattern, go ahead and check that out. I will link it above here in the cards for you guys to go and draft your patterns or drape your patterns and come back. But the first thing I want to do in this video is go over the changes that we've made to the pattern. So here's the new sketch. We are going to kind of do the same body line, but we're adding gourd seams at the sides to make that to make the skirt a little bit fuller we're also going to do some custom hand beading there at the neckline the straps will be beaded uh, and then we'll cross in the back and then there'll be some beading on the illusion panel in the back and then there will be some heat as uh, a pedal detail there at the train my drawings not the best but you know I know what I'm talking about here is the fabric conceptions and the, the notions that we're going to need I'll link it uh, I will list it in detail down in the description box now I'm going to go ahead and start truing all the pattern pieces that we draped in the previous video. I'm just making sure to true all the lines, making sure there's no weird bumps or anything. And then I'm also transferring my bust line and I'm transferring uh, my notches. And I'm going to do this to all the pieces, making sure to add seam allowances where necessary. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and like and share it if you can. That helps me and it helps YouTube recommend my videos to other people who are not yet familiar with my channel. Um, and right about now, I am at 373 subscribers. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, if you have wa watched some of my older videos, my older wedding dress videos, but I really, really want to get to my first 1,000 subscribers um, in the next couple of months. So if you guys can please subscribe to my channel, that would be great. Uh, to help me to be able to monetize my videos so I can be able to make money for my channel so I can keep making wedding dress videos like this because as you guys know wedding dresses are not cheap to make and I actually absolutely love making wedding dresses for you guys and teaching you guys how to make um, wedding dresses and special occasion dresses so if you could support me by subscribing that would be absolutely awesome and don't forget to watch this video to the end um, there's lots of good information in, in this video so here I am marking out uh, my illusion panel I'm just tracing over the the edges that we marked in the last video and then I am uh, chewing up those lines making sure they're nice and crisp and then this this actually won't be what we're using to cut out an actual piece this is just a guide so that's why i label it back illusion guide and i'll show you guys how we're going to go ahead and use this guide um later on in the video and i'm also marking where my stretch needs to be because that's important so i'm going to go ahead and finish all of my pieces and i will be back Okay, so remember in our last video we measured from our waist to the floor at the center front and our weight and our waist to the floor at the side seam and we got those numbers now i need to figure out how long our princess seam is going to be and i decided to just go ahead with a number that's kind of in the middle of 42 and 49 so i chose 46. And now I'm just going to put a piece of tracing paper over my pattern piece and trace over all of my seams. And I'm just correcting this, uh, that princess seam line a little bit. I think it was a little too curved and I think when I sew it, it would make it difficult to sew. So I'm just correcting those lines. 
and then I'm going to start marking the lengths of my pieces. Also, don't forget to transfer over your notches. That's very important. And I'm just drawing a straight line from my center front to the side seam. Now I'm calculating how long I need to extend the pieces. So there at my princess seam, I took 46 minus the length that I already have. And I got, I think it was 31 and a half. So I'm writing that there so I can remember to add it when I'm cutting out my pattern pieces. And I'm doing the same thing for my center front and for my side seam. And I hope that's clear. If it's not clear, you guys, please leave a comment down below. Or if you want more, um, want to get in contact with me a little bit more quickly uh, sometimes it takes me a while to see the comments you can also dm me on instagram my link is down below in the description box Okay, so you wanna have your bodice side front, your bodice center front, your back illusion panel guide. You wanna have your skirt center front, your skirt side front top, your skirt side front bottom, your skirt uh, side back, and your skirt center back. I'm going to use a 118 inch or 300 centimeter uh, wide uh, muslin that I picked up from my local Joann's to do our mock-up. I think I used about three yards and I'm just going to pin all of the pieces and I am going to cut them out and I will come back when it's time to do the skirt pieces. Okay, so I'm moving on to my skirt pieces. I'm taking the measurements that I marked at each seam and extending the piece that much. I think my center front there was um, 27 and a half. And then my princess seam, my front princess seam was like 31 and a half, I believe. So I'm just extending that like that. And I don't like um, adding the skirt pieces to my pattern pieces just because it makes me use a lot of paper and then it makes the, the tissue paper prone to rip a lot easier and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for all the pieces that re that require skirt extensions which should actually I think it's only the um, the center front piece and the side front piece because the back piece has um, a separate train and a gourd the gourd side seam is separate as well here I'm measuring out my center back piece uh, well my train piece that we measured out when we were actually drafting the pattern and then I'm going to go ahead and cut out all of the pieces time to assemble the mock-up. I'm not gonna go step by step on how to assemble the mock-up because I'm also uh, going to do document actually making the dress and I don't want anything to be repetitive. So I'm gonna go um, go ahead and mark out, the first thing I'm gonna do is mark out my bust line which I actually snip notches in the pattern so I know where my bust line is at and I'm gonna mark that on my center front and my side front pieces. And then I'm just gonna assemble them, you know, the usual suspects. I'm going to put them right sides together and sew down the princess seams. Um, I did leave the footage of sewing all the seams in here uh, just because I like watching people sew things together, so I'm sure you guys do too. So like I said, I'm putting uh, the pieces right sides together and I'm gonna sew those princess seams. And then I also wanna talk about the order of assembly for the skirt pieces, cause it's a bit of a puzzle. I'm going to, uh, here I have my back skirt pieces. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the pins out of them. And then I'm going to lay my center back pieces flat. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna insert the zipper while it's flat because that's so much easier than waiting until the whole dress is put together. So I'm inserting the zipper first 
and then I'm going to put the side back pieces onto the side, uh, the center back pieces, and sew those princess seams as well. And then I'm going to take my skirt, uh, my skirt front pieces and start putting those together as well. It's easier to do the center front piece, to attach the center front piece to the uh, side front bottom pieces first and sew down the princess seams. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those together first and then I'm going to put uh, the skirt front top pieces. I hope that makes sense, you guys. This is so much of a puzzle, and I really don't want to go in too much detail because, like I said, I will be documenting the whole process when we're actually making the actual gown. So here I am sewing down all of the seams at a centimeter seam allowance, making sure to back stitch when I start and back stitch when I end. And you also want to make sure that you're matching the notches. Okay, now on to the illusion panel. What I did was cut a big rectangle longer than I know I needed it. Uh, and then I'm measuring my guide piece. And then I'm taking the measurement that I got from the guide piece, which I think was eight and a half inches. And I'm marking that there on my zipper tape. And then I'm going to place my zipper tape in the middle, um, making sure that the stretch is where it needs to be. 
and I'm placing my zipper tape in the middle of that rectangle and I'm going to sew the zipper. I'm not cutting into it at all. I'm sewing the zipper onto it while the rectangle is still one whole piece because if you cut it, it things will shift and it will not line up and it just won't look right. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sew my invisible zipper onto the illusion panel uh, with the pieces still together. And this is the way to do a zipper. If you want to do buttons, you kind of do it almost the same way. But like I said, I'm gonna go into greater detail in the video of me actually making the actual gown. And at this point, I realized that I sewed the zipper tape on there weird. So I'm going to go ahead and unpick one side and sew it on there right. And I'm checking the zipper to make sure that it zips up and it does so I'm gonna go ahead and open it back up and then now I'm going to snip into that to separate the two sides of the zipper Okay, so here the dress is. It's not fully assembled. I haven't sewed the side seams yet. I put it on the dress form just to make sure everything was fitting good, and it is. So now what I'm going to do is take them apart. I uh, will take the pieces off the dress form, and I'm going to give each piece a good press. And I'm going to snip into all the curves. And here it is after it's pressed and all the side seams are sewn and the illusion panel is sewn in the back. I've also pinned in the straps, and I've pinned in this illusion mesh panel here in the front. I want to make the make it a little bit more modest there in the front and then I need to pinch in a little bit at the princess seam but all in all I think it looks really good I think the petal pieces in the train look really good I think the gore looks good I have a little uh, dip there I'm not sure what that is I'm gonna have to pinch that in as well so I'm really excited about how uh, the the mock-up turned out I'm showing you here the petal detail uh, we may or may not put some lace appliques or some lace trim in there I think that may look nice um, but yeah I am super excited on how this turned out and I can't wait to fit this on my bride I do have to make corrections at the train piece the way that was sewn together was a little lopsided but here is the illusion panel sewn on with the zipper it's not gonna have a zipper it's actually gonna have uh, buttons but the zipper makes it easier to close uh, there's no tension anywhere and I'm really really excited about how this turned out As always, thank you guys so much for watching my video Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you in my next one